when the Most High says move, move, right? It is detrimental that you be obedient when he says to do something, when he sends you a message, a prophecy, when you know that he's telling you to make a move, do it. It is important. It is of the utmost importance that you do it and you do it in a timely manner. I myself am guilty of not moving quickly at times in my life, right? And this is why I have this message. I believe that a message is for me before it's for you. It came to me and I'm sharing it with you because I understand. Um, so there are people who are, are being told to move, remove themselves from the United States, remove themselves from America. And some people are procrastinating. And so what's going to happen is tsunamis will come. The storms of life will come. But rejoice and be exceedingly glad. He loves you enough to disrupt your life. It's like getting a tap on the shoulder to say, hey, wake up. You're falling asleep. You're falling asleep in uh, through pl the pleasures that you have here in this country. You're falling asleep sleep through, you know, focusing so much on your that business that you have as an entrepreneur, right? You're falling asleep. Wake up. He's going to shake up some things, right? And we also have the verse in the Bible that says in the last days that he will separate the wheat from the tares. So there's separation and there's also preparation for the things that are going to happen in these last and evil days. And part of the preparation is for everybody to get into their places. You see, the stage is being set for the final act. Hallelujah. For the final acts of the book of Revelation to come to pass. And even the secret hidden things that are not in the books, right? The things that he has locked up and kept secret until such a time as this, right? So places, everyone. The Father is calling us to remove ourselves, to get into our places. This is why he's saying remove yourself. Remove yourself because something is about to happen. And it is not meant for you. If you can hear me, any person within the sound of my voice, black, white, Chinese, Russian, Indian, Hispanic, you understand, Korean, anyone within the sound of my voice who hears and understands what I'm saying, remove yourself from the United States of America because something is about to happen, and it's not good. It's just as in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, just as in the days of Noah, when people were being warned and they did not take heed. Remove yourself, because the wrath of the Most High is coming. And if you can understand what I'm saying, the wrath is not for you. All of the people of the Most High, all of his children, all of us believers, this word is for you. If you are a believer, if you are one of his sheep, you know his voice and you will not heed the words of another. You will understand that it's not me speaking. This is the Father gently giving you the final warning before he does what he says he's going to do. Because all these things must come to pass. Places, everyone. Places, everyone. We are in the month of September. Today is September 4th, 2024. I believe that people need to remove themselves within the next four months. September, October, November, December. And we are praying that by the grace and mercy of the Most High, that he will allow a grace period of another four months in 2025. 
before things really start to pop off. We are praying for that, for his grace and his mercy to give more time. But I believe that actually nobody should be on American soil in 2025. Nobody who is, anyone who is not supposed to be there needs to be gone. No one who isn't supposed to be there is, should have their feet on American soil in 2025. But we pray. And if the Most High says, okay, I'm going to give this one time or that one time, he's going to speak to you. He's with you. Fear not, for he is with you. Pray and he will order your steps and direct your path. But you must remove yourself because some things are about to happen and they are not even meant for you. They are not even meant for you. We're about to see something go down. And it's going to astonish every single one of us. I have so many loved ones in the U.S. And all I can do is try to warn them with all my heart, mind, and soul and pray for them that somehow our Father would visit them in a dream, in a vision of the night. That, that they would just receive the word so many times over and over and over again until they understand, hey, something ain't right. And that they would take heed, right? But he that has an ear, she that has an ear, let him or her hear what the Spirit is saying unto the children of the Most High in these last and evil days. Thank you all for listening Thank you all for listening. I want to say this last thing. Unless the, the Most High builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Please pray and seek the face of the Most High before you make plans. From today, don't make any more plans. Don't expand your business. Don't buy a house. You're wasting your time. Sell what you have and get out. This is the word from the Most High. Sell what you have and flee from America as soon as humanly possible. In a man's heart, he plans his way, but the Most High directs his steps. You can plan, you can build, but your house of cars is going to fall if you build anything in America. Don't do it. And I don't care how dire your situation, how how serious your situation, if it's meant for you to get out of there, he's going to get you out of there. If you want to get out and you have faith that you can get out, he's going to do the miraculous and get you out. There is nothing to fear. And no man, he's going to open the door wide for you. And open it, and he's going to fill your pockets, your bank account, like you've never seen a miracle of this caliber before. You've never seen a miracle like this before. He's going to give you everything you need. I promise you that if you will believe that he can get you out on time, he's going to get you out, and you're going to have the money and everything that you need. The door that he will open for you, no man can shut it. So don't worry about it. When the Most High says move, move. And fear not, for he is with you. Thank you for listening. Be blessed.